day one of Ramadan. Say Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Mubarak. <laughs> we go to this community center every year, or sorry, every weekend on Saturdays to like break our fast with the community and everything. Um, so I'm about to drive there right now wearing my abaya. It's the easiest thing to wear when you have no idea what to wear. I did some light makeup today. I didn't really do anything too crazy, but I went out with my friend earlier, so I thought I'd just put something on. How's your fasting going, Mama? Good. Good? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. You happy it's Ramadan? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Here. <laughs> <laughs> she literally doesn't know what to do when I give her the camera. So uh, I totally forgot to vlog, but now they're praying you shot. Say hi to Ramadan Mubarak. Say hi, Sarah. Okay. Say hi. Hi guys, Ramadan Mubarak. We are praying you shot right now. <laughs> Ramadan Mubarak. Say Ramadan Mubarak to the fans. You don't want to say Ramadan Mubarak? Wow. I'm like sitting in the car. Okay. Yo, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> oh, very cold. So how was oh shit? How was everyone's first day of Ramadan? It was exhausting. Good. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no, it's dark. <laughs> there's, there's a light inside the car. But it turned off. I know yeah. you just pressed yeah, the button. Yeah, oh, oh. The oh the that's not. That's not nope, nope, the button in front of it. There you go. Ah, but it's darker. Open the open the little mirror thing. Which was which this thing? And then, there <gasps> you go. <laughs> okay. Can I feel them? Are these so desirable? Slow. Listen. Do you have lights inside your car? Uh, we have a 2002 Toyota Corolla. Of course not. <laughs> you should have lights inside. <laughs> hey y'all. So it is now 3:13 a.m. As you can see behind me, and. I'm exhausted, but I'm making suhoor right now, so I thought I'd show you guys what I'm making. Um, I'm just preheating the toaster oven, but I'm making basically like a mini pizza sort of thing. Basically, you can put whatever you want on this though. Like, it really doesn't matter. Time to cook. Can you open the oven? I just let that cook for like, ugh, usually it takes about 15 minutes and then we're good to go. Yeah, do you see this natural glow right now? I used that glow something glow serum by Pixie. I mentioned it in my skincare routine. So if you want to see that, I'll have it as a card right over here, but ooh, does it make me glow? Okay, so I just realized um, Fudger comes in at 4 a.m. and it's 327, which means I need to eat this entire pizza by like 340. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have that much time, so I'm just gonna take it out prematurely. It's not even done, but whatever, I ain't got no choice. Hmm. I have 10 minutes. Hmm. Okay. Gotta clean this. Sorry. Brush my teeth. And everything in three minutes. Okay, guys, bye. So I feel like I'm totally gonna regret vlogging me in this right now, but <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys my prayer outfit. I think it's so funny. It's freaking tie dye. I don't even know where my mom got it, to be honest, but I also wanted to show you guys something that I noticed last week and my heart literally dropped when I saw it because. I don't know, it's just really sad, but um, so my prayer mat, which looks like this. Um, I don't know why I've never noticed this before, but I was praying last week and I looked down and I saw this. It's just basically like the tag or whatever of like um, where it's from. And it's made in Aleppo, Syria. I just wonder like where these people are right now. like. These people had lives, these people had probably a successful business. I mean, if this prayer mat got to me, so. It just gets you thinking. I'm tearing up on my vlog right now, but. 
it just makes you really appreciate your life more. I just, I pray to God that these people are safe. Every time I pray now, I just think of them. It's a good reminder to just really appreciate your life. Anyways, that is it for <clears throat> day one slash beginning of day two for Ramadan. So I'm gonna pray once it comes in and I'll talk to you tomorrow or I'm probably not gonna be crying. <laughs> So it's now the daytime and I'm getting ready to go out. I wanted to film a video today. I want to film um, myself cleaning all my makeup brushes. So as you can see, they're not on my table. They're upstairs in my kitchen. Um, and my brother was out earlier. So I asked him to pick me up some antibacterial hand soap or dish soap or something. But <laughs> poor guy, he got me the foaming one, as you can see. And like, I can't use this on my brushes because it dries it out. God bless him though for actually getting me it, but <laughs> now I actually have to go out myself and buy the actual one. I need like the, the liquid version, not like the foaming one. And then I might actually pick up some food for like suhoor for like the rest of the week or something. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, I'll take you guys along with me. But so far, fasting is going... <laughs> fasting is going really well. Um, I'm a little hungry, but like, not really that hungry, so alhamdulillah, it's going very well. Yeah. Alright, so I got my antibacterial hand soap. I just got Dawn, some gluten-free tortilla breads. I literally just went out for dish soap and I came back with like, two bags of stuff. Now, I want to make a recipe that I made like a really long time ago, like over two years ago, and I haven't made it ever since, so they're like date squares. We have like a lot of dates, or like timir in our house so I figured I would make these and they're like really good for like crushing your craving. I bought some unsweetened coconut and also some cocoa powder and then I picked up the sweet potato. I got some mushrooms because I like putting them on my pizza and then I also got some some bell peppers because I also like putting that on my pizza and it also tastes really good with hummus. Some sun-dried tomatoes and then you guys already saw this but the gluten-free tortilla bread. This is the brand that I usually get. Um, kind of expensive though for like such little tortilla breads but I do like them. I'm gonna actually make those date squares that I was talking to you about um, and luckily we have like a crap ton of majdul dates. We got it from Costco obvi um, so I'm gonna um, take about two cups worth of that. Just gonna unpit all of them obviously you don't want the pit in this and then also um, you're gonna need some peanut butter um, you could use the natural kind. I don't have the natural kind and honestly, I would have used almond butter, but my mom's allergic to almonds. And you need one fourth of a cup of this. So, that kind of looks like one fourth of a cup. And then you need three fourths of a cup of raw cashews. And then the best part of this is that there's cocoa powder. So I just got the no name because all cocoa powder is the same. I mean, they just private label it anyway, so two tablespoons. It just tastes like chocolate, like it tastes like you're eating a brownie because um, the sweetness from the medjool dates and then like the really chocolatiness of the cocoa powder mixes so well together. Just to like brighten up the flavors, you take a pinch of some sea salt and then also um, you can add some unsweetened coconut shavings. <laughs> A little more of the coconut shavings on top. Bismillah. Min? Allahumma laka sumtu wa ala rizkika. Allahumma laka sumtu wa ala rizkika. Wa ala rizkika? Aftartu. Aftartu. It's a normal plate. It's a who cares? <laughs> My mom really does not want me to show the table, but it looks fine to me. This is a normal sized food table. But this is... <laughs> Mommy, it doesn't matter. It's okay. She wants me to like match this cup. I'm like, it doesn't matter. But, sambusa. We got some soup. 
We got some dessert, aka fruit. I don't know what that is, but we got that too. So I just took the date squares out of the freezer and these are the ones that I'm just gonna take down to my family right now, but I just wanted to show you guys how I stored them because since they're so sticky, you really wanna make sure you're using the parchment paper in between every layer. So there's three layers of this and then you just sort of stick it into the freezer. Hey y'all, so it is Ramadan day three. There's only a couple more minutes until we break our fast, but I'm this tired because I just did like a full body workout. Actually, it was technically legs and legs and something. I forget, it was legs and cardio. I did this workout. Um, I'll show you guys the um, beginning of it. It's like, it's Kayla BBG or something. Bikini body workout. I know that sounds really easy, but honestly, like, especially someone that has done the P90X program, this was up to par with that. Like, it's all resistance training. There are a couple weights that you use, but it's pretty much just all your body weight and, like, jumping around and stuff. And it's only, like, a 28-minute workout. Um, I mean, it took me about, like, 35 minutes with all the breaks that I took, but... Um, it is effective, and I literally was, like, stretching out, and I just, like laid on the carpet outside in the living room and actually like fell asleep for like 15 minutes <laughs> until my mom came down and was like uh you alive it is now 2 41 a.m and i'm getting ready to make suhoor and i thought that i would show you today i totally forgot to show you guys what i was eating for suhoor yesterday but i remember today so i'm making my mini pizzas so as you can see i have the like gluten-free pizza crust i layered two of them Because I have so many toppings this time, I'm not gonna put any cheese because I don't know, I feel like that looks good all on <laughs> all on its own. This is my oatmeal. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost just fell out. Mmm. Oh my god, the sun-dried tomato. Mmm. What are you having for Sahur? Cereal and protein shake. Nice. Yep. See how are you gonna make it? Hmm? You know how to make it? Yeah, you just shake it. Shake it for 20 minutes! No, or 20, 20 minutes! Sorry. <laughs> <Joking. laughs> I forgot to take one. Mmm! Take this, take this, take this, take this. Wait, no, just take one of these. It's okay. Thank you. Tell them how it is. Uh, let me see. Mm. It's good, huh? Bono. Bono? Bono, bellissimo. <laughs> so I suck at being a vlogger. <laughs> I totally forgot to take my camera with me. I did a bunch of errands just now. And I like reached over into my seat when I was driving and I was like looking for my camera and I'm like, crap, I forgot it. So I'm sorry about that, but basically I just went to my network's office, Kin Community, um, and I just picked up a check and then I deposited it. And then I just came home, basically. I was gonna go to the beach, like I was gonna like do a light jog or something at the beach. I even like wore my shoes and everything, but it started like raining a bit. Um, it's starting to clear up now, so I might just go on a bike ride later on. Um, just to get some bit of exercise in. That's basically all I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna turn on my laptop, do some work, um, YouTube stuff and whatnot, answer emails, and then I am cooking iftar tonight for my family, so I'll show you guys what I'm cooking. I think I'm just gonna make like a grilled chicken breast or something um, with maybe like a side salad or, I don't really know what exactly I'm making, maybe some potatoes. I already made the marinade, but I guess I'll just show you what I put inside of it. So, this is what it's looking like right now. Basically, I'm making like a lemon garlic chicken breast and I'm gonna be grilling them slash sauteing them. Um, our grill broke, so I can't use that. And I think for the side, I wanted to do a salad, but I don't think we have any salad in the house. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna call my brother and tell him to pick up some, but um, I am gonna make a side of potatoes because we have like 
some potatoes left over and I never say no to potatoes because I love them. So there's a lot of garlic in here, about like four cloves, if not more. And then I have a whole lemon, including its zest inside of here. Like I just shaved the zest using that thing. And then I put the lemon juice and I'm gonna add another half of a lemon in here as well. And then I have thyme, rosemary, basil, and oregano, like dried. Some extra virgin olive oil. And then I think that's it, salt and pepper. So yeah. I'm gonna go on a short bike ride and then come back and prepare the potatoes. So that was a fail. <laughs> I wanted to go ride my bike and I like went to go get it and it has a flat tire. So I don't have time to like pump it or anything. So I'm just gonna walk instead and get some exercise that way. I was really looking forward to riding my bike though. I'm back from my walk and I'm preparing the potatoes. So before I left uh, for my walk actually, I just prepared them. I have lemon juice in here, oregano, rosemary, thyme, basil, like my chicken, um, a bunch of garlic. Um, I have some paprika, which is why it's that color, and then lemon pepper. So pretty much similar to the um, chicken, except I put um, paprika instead. So I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat, and then I'm gonna pop these in. So I'm now done. So here's the grilled chicken grilled chicken <laughs> and then some potatoes Ooh, how good does this look guys i know not to like you know toot my own horn or anything but <laughs> i should can throw it down in the kitchen so here's our setup for today we got the chicken that i made soup of course salad potatoes sambusa we have a bunch of fruit and then this is bomb this is called uh, shipney Kind of like chutney if you're Indian or Pakistani or anything. Um, and it's like a spicy sauce. And then we have our dates, of course. Ooh, and then this thing, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> what? Shukhut? Shufut? This is basically ish, like pita bread and then yogurt and like, is there anything else in it? Shitney? And then shitney, uh, which is that stuff that I told you. It's bomb. Gotta break my fast now, but. That's it for day four. Is it day four? Day five. Day four, right? Day four. Guess one, guess no, one. what? You're in your. <laughs> Hi, Amir. Hey. How, how does my food look? Excuse me? Sorry, my ask. Oh my god. My legs are so sore from Monday's workout still. But right now, I'm on my way to. Fairview Mall. I was supposed to leave way long ago because my appointment's at 1.45. Oh my god, and it's already 1.20. <laughs> um, before anyone asks, my sunglasses are from Kensington Market, like every other pair that I own. <laughs> I'm so annoyed with this freaking laptop. Like, honestly, if they tell me one bad thing is wrong with my laptop, I swear I'm just gonna buy a new one right there. I just, I can't deal anymore with the stress of not having a working laptop, like especially with posting three, now four videos a week with Ramadan, since I'm doing Ramadan weekly vlogs, like I can't, I need a stable, like a reliable laptop that will not break on me and lose all my footage. <laughs> I got here three minutes late, but I literally sped here so fast, so they still took me. So they told me that I had to wait an hour. They're gonna try to replace a cord or something. So right now I'm just shopping, and I went to Sephora, and actually I met one of you guys there, so if you're watching this right now, hello. So I'm just gonna basically shop around until then. I'm in Forever 21 right now, as usual. I always find a way back to this store, but... Yeah, hopefully that it's not like a hard drive issue, but if it is, it's only like $100 to repair the hard drive. So I'm okay with that, as long as that fixes the problem and I don't have to deal with this anymore. Here is what I'm trying on. I thought this would be really cute for like an Eid outfit, for my Eid series that I'm filming. And then this is really cute, kind of looks like a sleep suit, but oh well. And then I have two of these like really flowy pants that I really love. So good news, I got my laptop back and they said that it works. I didn't have to pay anything because 
it was like a heart like their issue or something like that so I'm happy at least I can like use my laptop until it decides to crash again I also managed to spend a lot of money at forever 21 <laughs> but I got a lot of really cute things um, I'm gonna wait to show you guys I'm gonna be doing a haul on my channel so I'll show you guys like a bunch of PR that I recently got as well as the stuff that I got from Forever 21. I'm trying out a new recipe for Sephur and I'm preparing it now. I'm making overnight oats. Basically I have half a cup of oatmeal in there. I have two tablespoons of chia seeds. I have like um, this big of a piece of dark chocolate and I just like chopped it up and put it in there. And then I sprinkled a little, a little bit of unsweetened coconut shavings in there as well. I'm gonna add some uh, cinnamon to it and then I'm gonna add probably like a third of a banana and then fill it up with almond milk. I'm probably gonna do like a half cup of almond milk. Hopefully this little guy does a nice job cooking. So hopefully this tastes good. Um, ooh, this smells really good. Kind of looks nasty, TBH, kind of looks like a substance that I do not want to mention, but um, I put in a lot of almond milk, but it's still pretty thick. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm, not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. That looks disgusting. <laughs> warm it up a little and then drizzle some honey over top because I'm not sure that I like it cold yeah I definitely prefer this warmer okay so I had a little fun with it a lot of fun with it but that looks pretty bomb Let's see how this baby tastes I'm gonna take some strawberry in there too I drizzled some honey on top and I just warmed up for about like 40 seconds um, but it looks like the chocolate chips um, have melted. Mm. Mm. I would definitely recommend to warm it up. Oh my god, this is so good. Of course, I always drink water. This is my third or fourth refill of this entire thing. I don't exactly know um, the measurements of this, but if I were to guess, it would probably be a liter or actually more than a liter. Needless to say, I've been peeing all night. Hey guys, so it is now, stays at Thursday. Um, and I just finished filming, so my room is kind of a mess. I'm just sort of like, Putting everything back so yeah I was gonna vlog a little earlier but I feel like this vlog is already so long so I'm just gonna do little check-ins here and there but right now I'm wearing one of Chinu Tain Co's new hijabs this is the first one that I tried on and I'm like obsessed with this color since my birthday's tomorrow I want to get some cake <laughs> because I don't know it doesn't like feel like a birthday unless I have cake whoops um, and I'm not Turn this off, it's so loud. I'm not really huge on birthdays. Like, I never really celebrate my birthday ever. Um, and especially now that it's Ramadan, like, I really can't. But tomorrow we are going for dinner. Not, like, for my birthday particularly, but just for a and it just happens. Whoops. I'm going with my friends and it just happens to be my birthday, so. That'll be nice, but my aunt and my cousin are coming over tonight so we're gonna have an iftar and I thought that it'd be nice to have some cake so I'm gonna go out and buy that and then find a cute place to take some pictures okay so I decided to actually change I changed into this white top from forever 21 I still have sweats on <laughs> and then I just put on these glasses I don't know if I'm gonna keep them but I really like this I think you can make a really cute picture we are now at Loblaws Picking up some cake. Cake, 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 cake. There's the mirror. I forced him to come with me because I don't want to pick out cake by myself. The only um, criteria my mom asked for is not to get chocolate. <laughs> but I love chocolate. <laughs> Ugh, so many options. Yes! Oh my god. That looks legit. Let's get that. 
If we brought this home, Mama would actually <laughs> cuss <What>? us out. <laughs> 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 true, <laughs> true, she would say that. Okay, we're gonna try Metro. It's like really close to here anyways, but no luck here. Success is ours. We got the cake. We got a good one because my mom doesn't want fully chocolate, but this one has like chocolate cake and then it has vanilla cake in it, or like white cake as well. So she can't complain because it's all chocolate. It's not all chocolate. Do you want to be in my vlog, Bakala? Do you want to be in my vlog? No. no? Okay. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Hi! So uh, today we're having a iftar with uh, my cousin Bakala. Say hi. <laughs> and then also my aunt is here as well. But um, this is the get up for today. We got some fruit. First course is soup and sambusa. Do you want to say hi? Yeah? Ramadan Mubarak, babe. Ramadan Mubarak. Okay. Why are you laughing? <laughs> we should be breaking our fast any minute now. But I'm so excited to eat. I'm so hungry. And then I'm excited for a cake. Like, I literally don't make a big deal about my birthday at all. Like, I never celebrate it. But I always have to have cake. Like, it's just my excuse to have cake. There's really nothing else to it. I just love cake. It's now Friday and we're going out to dinner. I'm wearing the same hijab that I wore yesterday because... No one really saw me in it, <laughs> so I'm just gonna wear it. But I did film a get ready with me, so this is a little sneak peek of my outfit. I will show you guys my outfit in detail, like in that video, so definitely check the chit chat get ready with me on Monday when I upload it. Um, but I'm gonna get my brother to film my outfit of the day real quick before we leave. I know he's gonna kill me, but I really need to get this shot. All right, we gotta run, we're gonna be late. <laughs> <laughs> But oh well. We just got to the restaurant. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. But uh, here are the peeps. He wants to be in it so badly. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Ahmed. We're eating at Eddie's Walk and Roll Mississauga. Cat just here live right now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> only the best, only the best saw the city. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm ready to munch. I'm really hungry. But literally everyone, oh yeah. Apparently no one else in this place is fasting because we're just like sitting here with empty plates. <laughs> I got you guys. Zara, totally got you guys taking a picture. Okay. So we just finished praying. We had to pray outside, but yes, we stumbled on. So you gotta Hi, pray wherever. <laughs> this is Amina, Hi. of course, and Iman's there. Oh, that's so sad. Or Liza Koshi, I mean, sorry, <laughs> not Iman. <laughs> I know. Um, but right now we are going to a very secret spot that I can't tell you about. Liza <laughs> Koshi, undisclosed environmental spot. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed week one of Ramadan. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up um, and I will continue filming these. I know this video is probably super long so I apologize about that but nonetheless I hope you guys enjoyed it and inshallah you're having an amazing Ramadan so far. If you don't celebrate Ramadan I really hope that you guys are having fun watching. Um, this vlog even though you don't celebrate it sometimes it's like fun to see other people's cultures and stuff i'm really struggling putting on the seatbelt right now but i am gonna put my camera away and by the time i get home i am be hella tired and i have to edit this but it's going up saturday morning so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys in my next video Ooh, my highlight is popping right now look at my highlight amir look at that it is popping <laughs> say bye 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 everyone! Mwah.